it when it's doing it. If it's flashing, I don't know. Cardiopulmonary resuscitation. If at the point of death using drugs and electric shock to keep the heart beating, artificial breathing. Nice. Mechanical breathing, artificial nutrition and hydration. Major surgery. I guess we decided on that anyway. But I suppose there could be problems. Cancer is not for sissies. That's the mantra my husband and I would repeat after long, exhausting days at the hospital. Invasive diagnostic tests. Larry had mesothelioma, blood of blood products, a melodic sounding name for a terrible cancer. Yeah, and you decided that the word coma comes out of that, right? One night, I tried to film him filling out a healthcare proxy. His directives about what he would accept or decline if something went terribly wrong with his treatments. But this was before I knew how to mount a camera steadily on a tripod. Okay, and the opinion of my physician and several consultants. Have known on hope of regaining awareness and higher mental functions, no matter what is done. And my wishes regarding use of the following types of treatment, defined above, <coughs> considered medically reasonable, would be. Right. What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so your head's gonna be. Four scenarios, and for each of these scenarios, we have to decide legally for which ones we would hold, what treatments, and give what treatments. It would be six full years after Larry died before I could watch these tapes. Six years before I could allow myself to remember how Larry's illness was so incongruous with how safe I felt by his side. Why you have other people direct? 